The Russian satellite Cosmos 2542 was launched on November 26, 2019, on top of a Soyuz rocket. It then settled into orbit between 250 and 550 miles over the surface of the Earth. For almost three months, it stayed away from U.S. satellites, but by mid-January, it made an unusual move. As the satellite approached the $4 billion secret U.S. spy satellite known by experts as KH-11, Cosmos 2542 remained close. Such a maneuver raised suspicions of alternate intentions by the Soviets, including a potential attack. As expressed by the commander of the U.S. Space Force, John Raymond, quote, This is all circumstantial evidence, but there are a hell of a lot of circumstances that make it look like a known Russian inspection satellite is currently inspecting a known U.S. spy satellite. Russian nesting dolls. Less than two weeks after the Russian satellite Cosmos 2542 launched in November of 2019, it apparently split in two. U.S. observers spotted what looked like a second, smaller satellite birthed from the original, just like a Russian nesting doll. The event was confirmed by December when the Russian Defense Ministry clarified, quote, The purpose of the experiment is to continue work on assessing the technical condition of domestic satellites. However, Cosmos 2542 and its child, Cosmos 2543, seem to be carrying out a different mission. From January 20th to 23rd, they unexpectedly maneuvered to match their orbit with the KH-11, an orbital telescope staring down at Earth that was part of a reconnaissance constellation codenamed Keyhole or Crystal and operated by the National Reconnaissance Office, or NRO. Cosmos 2542 would initially pass the USA-245 satellite, as it was called by trackers, every 11 days, but there was much intrigue when the Russian satellite approached it. There are 2,200 active satellites in the world, more than half of which orbit between 100 and 1,200 miles above the Earth. It was clear that the cosmos's real target was the USA-245. A Russian satellite shadowing a multi-billion dollar U.S. spy satellite could be a growing threat to the American superiority in space and potentially start a new and costly chapter in the never-ending competition between Washington and Moscow. The Russian Defense Ministry publicly stated, quote, The satellite was created on the basis of a unified multifunctional space platform and can monitor the state of domestic satellites in orbit. Its optical equipment makes it possible to survey the Earth's surface. It is known that Cosmos 2542 is an inspection satellite, equipped with sensors and thrusters, but it has proven capable of positioning itself near other spacecraft and performing scans. Still, some Americans believe that some inspection satellites double as weapons and could tamper with or even destroy an enemy. Implications The NRO operates four KH-11s, which orbit as low as 160 miles and as high as 620 miles, providing simultaneous wide and narrow surveillance by coordinating the orbits of the four satellites. Vast views of the Earth are shown in low resolution, whereas smaller pictures have better quality. Though the NRO doesn't comment on their operations, the school bus-sized satellites are easily distinguished from the ground. Michael Thompson, an American graduate student and amateur satellite observer, followed the events closely and tweeted, quote, Cosmos 2542 is loitering around USA 245 in consistent view. As I'm typing this, that offset distance shifts between 150 and 300 kilometers, 93 and 186 miles, depending on the location in the orbit. That is a perfect distance for quality photos. Furthermore, it is public knowledge that KH-11s use the same type of lens as the Hubble Space Telescope, revealing the optical capabilities of the spacecraft. Thus, monitoring the spy satellite would be pointless. Russia has deployed several mysterious inspection satellites starting in 2014, as have the U.S. and many other countries, such as China, Japan, and Sweden. In fact, the U.S. Air Force's secretive X-37B robotic mini-shuttle might be the most famous spacecraft with inspection capabilities. And all of them have potential as weapons. Anatoly Zak, an independent expert on Russian spacecraft, explained, quote, You can probably equip them with lasers, maybe put some explosives on them. If one comes very close to some military satellite, it probably can do some harm. Under that logic, the behavior of Cosmos 2542 could be perceived as a practice for war. Meanwhile, the commander of the U.S. Space Force, John J. Raymond, disclosed that the Russian craft had begun its maneuvers not long after its launch in November 2019, as it crept in at barely 100 miles. Quote, We view this behavior as unusual and disturbing. It has the potential to create a dangerous situation in space. According to Raymond, the U.S. government has reached out to Moscow through diplomatic channels to express its concern. This confrontation was the first time the U.S. military publicly identified a direct threat to a specific American satellite. 
Similar incidents have happened in terrestrial encounters between Russian and U.S. or allied elements, such as close calls between soldiers, jets, and warships around the world. However, space might be a whole new theater for unintentional escalation of hostilities. The Pentagon, the White House, and backers in the U.S. Congress have argued that the incident demonstrated the need for a space force, which President Donald Trump established in December 2019 through the National Defense Authorization Act. This was the first new military service created since the Air Force in 1947. However, space warfare doctrine is still a work in progress. The Space Force would represent a strategic shift from passive observation to active defense. Raymond has reinforced the need to mobilize the Space Command against perceived threats, given that Russia and China are developing an increasingly sophisticated arsenal of space weapons and craft that would render the U.S. vulnerable in space. But further actions would involve high costs and potential budgetary sinkholes. The Russian move and the Pentagon's response may as well be a new front in the effort to assess real and potential threats while avoiding costs. William D. Harding, director of the Arms and Security Project at the Center for International Policy, expressed, quote, The initial costs of setting up the Space Force are likely a small down payment on an undertaking that could cost tens of billions of dollars in the years to come. The last thing we need is more bureaucracy at the Pentagon, but that's exactly what the Space Force is likely to give us. Creating a separate branch of the armed forces for space also risks militarizing U.S. space policy and promoting ill-advised and dangerous projects that could involve deploying weapons in space. The Russian embassy has not responded to requests for comments on the alleged threat, but the Kremlin has reassured that the satellites are not weapons, but merely inspector spacecraft orbiting as part of an experiment. Space Spy The NRO has also refused to comment on the KH-11s, their mighty Hubble Space Telescopes that are not gazing at the vastness of space, but looking down at the planet and focused on foreign top-secret military installations. The four satellites operate in polar orbits above the rotating globe, covering its entire surface. One KH-11, known as USA-224, is believed to have taken the famous picture of Iran's Imam Khomeini Space Center posted by President Trump in August of 2019. The image is so sharp that the Farsi characters written on the edge of the launch pad are visible. Thompson used publicly available data to speculate about the happenings and intentions behind the American satellite. Quote, the relative orbit is actually cleverly designed, where Cosmos 2542 can observe one side of the KH-11 when both satellites first come into sunlight, and by the time they enter eclipse, it has migrated to the other side. General Raymond further expressed his concern. Quote, in 2017, they launched a satellite. It launched another satellite. The satellites exhibited characteristics of a weapon system where one of those satellites launched a high-speed projectile into space. In 2018, the U.S. raised the issue at the U.N. Conference of Disarmament, warning about Russia's troubling behavior. Still, there were no specifics, and Moscow's intentions remain unknown. Former Air Force officer and expert in space security at the Secure Worlds Foundation, Brian Wheaton, speculated that the Russian satellite's position could help determine where the U.S. satellite is pointing, and quote, thus what ground targets it's taking pictures of, as well as the general operating schedule and usage. Moreover, if Russian satellites are equipped with electronic emission probes, they could listen to radio frequency signals and figure out how the KH-11s communicate while potentially intercepting those likely encrypted messages. Todd Harrison, director of the Aerospace Security Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, stated that, quote, There are a lot of things it could be doing. It could simply be practicing on-orbit maneuvers or signaling to the United States that they have this capability. The Keyhole program is nearly half a century old, and it is no secret that satellites have similar capabilities as the Hubble telescope. Russia was probably showing that it's now part of the club of nations that already have the ability to launch spacecraft into close orbit, such as the U.S. and China. Raymond added that, quote, It's clear that Russia is developing on-orbit capabilities that seek to exploit our reliance on space-based systems that fuel our American way of life. His standpoint is that the close inspection of a foreign satellite is virtually indistinguishable from staging an attack. Still, Despite the science fiction-like space weapons invented in the last decade, thousands of satellites are actually used for non-military purposes, and several developed nations depend on satellites to enable everything from commerce and banking to transportation and communications. Raymond concluded that, quote, We prefer space to remain free of conflict. We think that responsible spacefaring nations need to have conversations about developing those norms going forward. The mutually assured destruction doctrine once proved enough for the superpowers of the world to step back, while a series of treaties and open lines of communication were put in place to avoid accidental escalation of conflict. Still, the U.S., Russia, and other countries have yet to create an analogous diplomatic protocol for space matters, and experts warn about the dangers of weaponizing spacecraft without it. The KH-11 does not have any known defensive weapons, but as Thompson put it, 
There's not much the NRO can do about the nosy spatial neighbors, quote, besides grumble at the UN. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more stories about historical incidents. And don't forget to leave us a comment below.